he was like, my ex has called me and I want to give it another go. And I was like, oh, gotcha. Oh, coming up on the Below Deck Mid after show. I don't know how Ellie is. He could twist the whole story. He panicked and told me he can't come for the massage because his grandmother is dying. I've just booked a <laughs> flight <Wait>. to Ireland. <laughs> Why did Nathan and Joe not end up traveling? He said to me he didn't want Joe to come. You, you could have said, like, Joe, it's not happening. Because <laughs> I didn't know until the day after of the flight. I'm honored to pronounce <laughs> you wives. I just remember being the happiest I've ever been in my life. The Below Deck Med after show starts right now. I love Nathan and I love Gail, and I was just so excited that something was brewing. Yeah. Good plans after that. Head up to Prague. That sounds like something I'm doing. I don't know what happened. I think they were traveling after. Yeah, they went traveling. They had fun, but I guess don't it fizzled. Know. It must have fizzled out. Yeah, we traveled. Wow. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I followed their adventures and. They went some pretty cool places, yeah. For the most part, it was really great. And I think he just has a lot of emotional maturing to do. I definitely started to see a different side to him. Like when he would storm off when he was drinking or something, like those kinds of things, do you mean? Or? Yeah, like a little bit of, like a little bit of anger and a little bit of like stubbornness, immaturity. Mm. Once we went apart, I started a new job. Um, uh, the time zones, she was back in Australia, time zones was, wow, it was very difficult to communicate. So we were the only get like a good morning or a good night, really. And um, yeah, I just started second guessing everything. We were making plans. He had one month on, one month off. So we were supposed to see each other a month later. So I decided it was best to tell Gail that I don't know if it's going to work. Maybe if you come back to Europe, we can try. If you're on a yacht in Europe, we can try. But right now, the distance, it's difficult. Um, like we hadn't had a phone call in like two weeks. Mm. I knew something was up and then he pretty much, oh yeah, he just ghosted me. And then eventually I was like, dude, like what's going on? Like I'm worried something's happened. And then he was like, my ex has called me and I want to give it another go. And I was like, oh, gotcha. Oh, he started talking to me again. And did he come calling back? I said to him, well, aren't you with your ex? Like, I called him out on it. And he's like, no, I never got back with her. Like, no, like, and I didn't really believe him, if I'm being honest. Like, I was like, yeah, you're full of it. Like, he so probably tried and it didn't work. He tried to make it work with me again. And then history just keeps repeating itself. Mm. I really wish we just stayed friends because I think he's a great friend. I think yeah. he's someone who's awesome to be around. He's hilarious. He's, you know, I just think some people are great friends and some people like you just shouldn't date we talk every other day yeah we we still stay in touch and it's, it's nice to see what she's doing and how she is and just to make sure she's okay is there hope for the future i wouldn't really realize i wouldn't say it's a closed book wow yeah i, I wouldn't say it's a closed book she'll probably say that for no <laughs> <laughs> i don't regret anything Oh, I regret plenty. But like in that, I don't want to say I regret it, but I just think if we had stayed friends, I wouldn't have- He would have been more valuable to you as a friend. I just wouldn't have a bad word to say about him. Yeah. I'm friends with absolutely everyone. I can even say I'm still friends with Elle, but she's blocked me and she's blocked Brie. I'm really scared to see her, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I know she's gonna give me one of those looks. I don't it's just think gonna... so. You don't think so? No, I think she's okay. I think a, the block was maybe like just her protecting herself. Mm. When we did meet up with each other in Florida, she was bad mouth and Bray like she was a rat. Like she was nothing on earth and I didn't like that. And she's just not happy that I'm friends with Bray because they've still got this hatred towards each other. She could twist the whole story or maybe I'm wrong and she doesn't. Like, I mean, it's not a lot of stories to tell. It's the fact that me and Bray met up in LA and that nothing happened in LA. That's the thing. So what is she going to say? You know, when he stayed at my place last time we spoke, he bought me flowers, he wrote a nice card. I was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. Okay, this is cute. So I offered him a massage. I was offering him a professional treatment. I was a masseuse on a cruise ship. <laughs> he panicked so much. She said, don't be scared, it's only a massage and stuff, but I don't want to get a massage from it. That's just how it is. I've got no interest sexually with this being. Maybe she's taking that as hard. I don't want to think that way, you know, but unfortunately, I think that's the case. He panicked and told me he can't come for the massage because his grandmother is dying. She's in the hospital. 
Uh, he's waiting for a phone call from his mother any minute now. We're in Florida. Your grandmother is in the UK. It's 2 a.m. in the UK right now. What are you talking about? Who's calling you from the hospital at 2 in the morning? It was 7 o'clock in Florida, 2 a.m. in England. I had a call with me, and that's how it is. And this is going, oh, you're making up excuses. I see how it is. Um, like, I can't believe you've done this and stuff like that. How could you say that about my grandmother? I'm going to pretend like you didn't say that to me. That's so insensitive. I'm like, it was, stop panicking. It wasn't going to, you know, <laughs> harass him in any way. Like, mind you, he told me, like, he could never post a picture with me because people talk, never let me post the flowers he bought me because he didn't want people to talk. Next thing I know, he's in L.A. with Brie, posting 15 stories with Brie, rubbing it in my face. See scenes that I've met up with Brie, and then Brie was blocked, and I was like, Jesus, am I blocked? And then I see I was blocked. I was like, Jesus Christ, like, she's 32 years of age. Like, what? why block? We've just had a lovely experience together, and you block me. I'm Brie. I'm sorry. You stayed at my place, and you don't even have the respect to post one picture with me to say, thank you. But you go to LA and post all these stories with Brie right to my face. I blocked him after that. Why am I even blocked in the first place? For meeting up with a friend? Jesus. I think she's paranoid that I'm going to relay information what she said about her. Because she was going hard on Brie. And four days later, I met up with Brie. Honestly, my best guess is he did the same thing to her that he already did. He probably came here, led her on, posted stories with her, and probably just never did anything with her. We went out and we had a kiss, you know? God, but that's it. So it, wa it wasn't like these little things that made me block him, it was the character. Because now we're talking about character. So we're done. It's just really interesting reflecting on me on Sirocco and how far I've come as like my relationship with Sandy but even just as a respectable woman you know <laughs> like I remember being on Sirocco and sitting in the crew mess and I'm you know telling stories about sticking my finger up my bum so when I was like eight I was really curious about how poo comes out I put my finger up my bum okay I'm out of here with Sandy in right. the room, which I mean, you know, I think you're she a found... scientist in that way. Exactly, is what I, think. I was a scientist. I think it's really cool to witness me kind of growing into more of a respectable woman. You know, oh, like just flourishing. Who you are. You're, you've been respectable the whole time. But then <laughs> cut out the part where I tasted it. Right. That was where the money was. That was where the money was. I didn't like have a really gluttonous bite. It was literally just like I went, mm, and I was like, oh, okay, that's what it tastes like. So what does it taste like? Like poo. It tasted exactly like you would expect poo to taste like. I never really thought about it. You haven't smelled it? No. Actually, what? I have no sense of smell. What? I was born without it. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But I didn't realize it until I was 14. I thought- Oh it, my god! Because it's not obvious. I know, I don't like to talk about it because they were like, like, okay, can you smell roses? Can you smell poop? And I was like, no, no, no. Do you wow. want to get a- yeah, so... Okay, so poo... What is it like? It's hard to explain if you've never smelled anything. Right, that's what I was going to ask. It's just like bad. lots, lots just of bad. bits of food chopped up and rotted in Ew. like a steaming heap. So I gave it a look. I was uh -huh. like, hmm, yep, tastes exactly like it smells. And then I just moved on. And that's why you're a yachty and a reality star. <laughs> we are open to new experiences and yes. they might not be great. Yes. But we are open to the adventure. Exactly. Yep.